Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography. Welcome back to the channel. So Adobe have just dropped a new version of Lightroom and if you're on Lightroom Classic, it's Lightroom Classic 14.3 and if you're on Lightroom Desktop, it's 8.3 and both these versions feature a new masking tool that allows you to select landscapes. It basically allows you to select different elements of landscapes um, and rather than me going too much <laughs> into explaining it, let me just give you a quick demo. So here we have a landscape image and what I'm going to do is let me just pop over to the develop module and if we pop over to masks and go create new mask you'll see a new option here called select landscape. So what this does is it'll analyze your image and it will detect landscape features and as you can see it gives you a bunch of different options so you can mask the sky or you can mask the mountains or you can mask vegetation or you can mask the water. Now, I have been playing around with this for a little while and um, it's not brilliant. <laughs> I've seen lots of videos um, in the 24 hours or so since this dropped with people going, this is amazing and it's the best thing ever, but I've found it, it misses a lot of stuff. Like if you just look here, say on mountains, you can see, um, you can see it's not getting a perfect mask and again vegetation again it's not getting a perfect mask and water it's somehow inexplicably picking up different parts of the image that are nothing to do with water um but still it's a step in the right direction and you can always of course adjust these masks later um so let me start by giving you a quick demo of what happens if we select say mountains and i go create mask and now we can, of course, adjust our mountain separately. But again, you can see here uh, the parts of the mask is actually missed. Um, and you could, of course, easily fix that just by going in here and going add and then maybe brush and then just manually brushing it in. Um, and now, of course, we have the whole mountain. So you might be thinking, well, what would you actually do with this? Um, obviously you can use it for things like minor exposure adjustments. So you just wanted to brighten that up a bit. Um, where I think it come, it'll come in handy is kind of for doing things like if you wanted to add clarity, but you only want to add clarity to certain sections. I think this will work quite well for that. It'll be very handy. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a basic overlay. So what I thought I would do is I've collected a bunch of landscape images here and I thought I would have a look and see how it does in various different kind of types of scenarios. So let me just have a look at this one. Again, this is mostly, we've got mountains, we've got foliage and we've got the road. Um, it picks up on different things in different images as well. So there's actually, there's quite a few um, different elements of landscapes it can actually pick up on. So let's try this one, see what we come up with. So here you can see we have sky, we have the mountains, uh, we have the vegetation, we have artificial ground, obviously the road, and we have natural ground. So this is this is getting a much better kind of pickup than we did the last time. But again, it's missing some stuff like it's not picking up on the water here. And the artificial ground is, well, I suppose that is artificial. <laughs> um, so let's say in this example, I want to pick up on the vegetation. Okay, so I'll select this and we want to create a mask, but we just want the vegetation. We don't actually want the um, mountains in the background. So what I can do in this case is I can actually just subtract, go to select landscape again, and this time we'll pick the mountains. So now we just have the foreground foliage. And again, we can do just exposure slightly if we need to. And maybe do something like increase the clarity. So you get an idea of where we can go with this. Um, like I said, it's quite useful, but um, some of the masking isn't brilliant. Sometimes it gets things almost comically wrong. So let me give you an example of that. So here we have an image with lots of trees. We have a path. Um, and if we go in and create a mask here, we go landscape. And you can see it thinks the trees are mountains <laughs> and natural ground is okay. But the rest of it's like just totally wrong. Um, so yeah, so uh, a bit of work to be done there. Um, and then again, let's just try a different image and see how we get on. So this one is interesting because we have uh, a building in the foreground. Um, and then we have some water here and we have some foliage in the background. So again, we pop over to our develop module. 
go to the masks, go to landscape, and see what it picks up. So again, we have mountain, um, and again, as you can see, it's picking up half the building and some of the foreground um, shrubbery. So again, not ruined architecture. That's getting most of that. That's, so that's pretty good. Um, vegetation, yeah, it's not bad. Again, still picking up some of the building and then water. And again, it's not bad, but it's as you can see, it's missing some of it. So let's just go with the architecture here. Create a mask, and now we can. If we need to adjust the building. And to be fair, that's actually kind of a tricky thing because it's all glass and it's reflecting. Um, and maybe bring up the clarity, maybe the shadows. Again, I'm just doing this just for demonstration purposes. So you can obviously, as with all the masks in Lightroom, you can have multiple masks. Uh, and also too, once it analyzes an image, it only has to do it once. Um, you can see it's fairly uh, instant then. So say here, I want vegetation, create mask. Um, and then we can do something like, I can use, create a wide range here, and we can do something like, increase the greens maybe, make them greener. Again, this is just purely for demonstration purposes. So it's not bad, again, like I said, it's not, it's not perfect though. Um, they still have a little bit of work to do on the training, I think. Um, again, let's try one more, um, which is this one, because this is kind of, could be a bit tricky. Um, and this is one of those scenarios where it would be nice to be able to quickly mask the rocks. So let me pop again over to the develop module again, go for masks, create new mask, select landscape, and let's see what it comes up with. So we have water, sky, water, and natural ground. And yep, yeah, that's actually not bad. That's in this case, it's actually done an okay job. And now we can say, if I want to bring up the exposure of the rocks and uh, maybe a bit of clarity here as well. Okay, so in this case, it's worked quite well. So as, uh, as you've seen <laughs> some mixed results here, it's definitely a useful feature. I think the training needs to be improved a bit. Um, but it's useful if you need to isolate parts of your scene and um, adjust them individually. I think it would probably be useful um, for doing things like adding clarity selectively or maybe increasing sharpness selectively. I'm not so sure how great it's going to be if you need to do like major adjustments to parts of an image. Um, but because of Adobe's mask system, um, which is quite flexible, you can of course add and subtract and intersect with various other elements in your scene. So. Um, it's a useful tool in the tool chest. I do think it needs some work, but yeah. So that is the new masking feature in Lightroom 14.3. <laughs> I couldn't remember which version it was there. So yeah, there we have it. Um, just a quick video to show you the new feature. Uh, I hope you have found this useful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you do. Um, it really helps get people to see our videos and hit that bell icon so you get notified. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.